Hey everybody, it's Mrs. McGurkin. Um, I'm just going to go through the different parts of the microscope with you guys to help you get started on your lab activity for today. Um, we are going to use all of the parts that you guys see on the right side of the screen to help us label the microscope. Um, also, while you guys are doing the lab, when you get to a part and it refers to one of these specific parts of the microscope, you can refer back to your diagram. At the end of the lab, you guys are going to be asked to think about how you use these different parts of the microscope um, to determine what their actual functions are. So be thoughtful about that as you guys are completing your lab. All right, so we're going to start up here at the top with the ocular lens or eyepiece. Um, this is the part of the microscope that you look through to see the specimen. Um, what's also important to remember about the eyepiece is it has a bit of magnification to it. Um, so when you think about the difference between magnification and resolution on a microscope, the eyepiece is contributing to that. Um, the next part of the microscope is here. Um, this part here is called the revolving nose piece. You end up um, twisting this to get different um, objectives when you guys need to change the magnification. Uh, speaking of objectives, on your microscopes that you guys are going to be working with, you have three objective lenses that you will be using. Uh, the first one is the scanning objective, then the low power, and then the high power objectives are all of these little lenses that hang down uh, that help change the magnification of the specimen that you're looking at. The next part of the microscope is the stage. Um, this is where you put the specimen that you are looking at. Um, underneath the stage, you guys will see, um, it looks a little different on the microscope you guys are working with today, um, but you have a dial called the diaphragm. On our microscopes, um, the diaphragm is directly under the stage. Um, there's a part of your microscope lab today where you're going to be looking at the point of the diaphragm um, and be sure to um, carefully <laughs> turn your microscope over to look at the different parts of the diaphragm so that you can determine what its function is. Next up is the light source. Obviously this is the light. You turn it on to be able to see the specimens. Uh, down here at the bottom is the base. Um, the base really doesn't have too much of a function except to be um, the stable part of the microscope. It does have some of the electrical components to it. Um, so um, when you guys are using your microscopes today and you need to move them, you can put your hand under the base and then hold on to um, this other part of the microscope called the arm to carry the microscope from your station back to the cart and from the cart to your station. Um, next up, we have these two adjustment knobs here on the side. The first one, the larger one, is called the coarse focus or coarse adjustment knob. This makes bigger changes. That's why it's a bigger knob. Um, so when you guys are using your microscopes, you'll notice um, you can actually see physical changes on the microscope when you use this adjustment knob. The fine focus or fine adjustment knob makes a lot um, smaller changes and you can use the fine adjustment knob with any of the lenses but be careful when you use the coarse adjustment knobs because it changes the microscope so drastically you have to be careful when you use it. Um, so hopefully that is helpful and good luck today.